in my absolute best. Same here. Hey Riverside, this is Patrick Maloney for Hey Riverside and the Riverside Open Mic Music Series. And I'm here with Mr. Klaus Floride from the Dead Kennedys. Yes, that guy who plays that badass bass line on Halliday in Cambodia and all those other ones. Oh yeah. And um, point out just real quick, I went to the very first show you guys had a reunion at on uh, September 22nd, almost 16 years ago. Yeah. And uh, what's the main memory of that show, the Key Club? I know you guys played a short uh, set. We were terrified. We didn't. We thought it was just a one-off. We yeah. didn't think we were going to play anymore after that show. I didn't. Th I remember no, you guys no. didn't have no clue. You guys so, were just surprised. Uh, there were some promoters there, but we were, you know, just you know, going out for the first time with a new lineup and stuff like that. It was weird, but uh, people liked it. And Cruz so, did a good job, too, on those nights. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, and it was really cool to just, uh, I've got to say, you guys were incredibly friendly, and I was very impressed by everybody going out of their way to uh, thank the fans and sign pictures and all that cool stuff. It's And he's still doing it today. I had to wait for him to sign all the fan stuff, so that's really cool of you. All right, so we're on HeyRiverside.com, so I have to ask about Riverside, California, and the uh, riots, the De Anza Theater, and if you mm -hmm. played any other places and what memories you got. I don't remember specifically what the names of the theaters were. I do remember, though, that there was that one time where it was, uh, I, I think it was Riverside, where the cops like, came in and then blocked all the exits. That was the De Anza they, Theater, they I've heard about that. They get out, and then they blocked the exits so they couldn't get out and bang people as they were ending, leaving the door, Banging them with nightclubs, billy clubs, and stuff like that. Nightclubs, billy clubs. Riverside, we shouldn't have that reputation with the no, dead Kennedys. No, come on. No, all the cops aren't like that. No, 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 no. And um, so, if you guys ever come back to Riverside, we'll promise not to riot. Okay, okay. That's People, good. don't riot. Come on. That's a good arrangement. We'll come back then. Or they won't play the song Riot. Come on now. All right, um, real quick question about the bass six. I love bass sixes. Yeah. Which albums did you play a bass six for us uh, gearheads and bass heads? On... Um, on uh, Ted Kennedy's, it's on Bedtime for Democracy. That's the only one? Yeah, that's the only one on Ted Kennedy's. And then I've done some other, my some of my solo projects and stuff like that. The, the, the Flickering, the Light album. And light stuff. is Flickering and the uh, Because I Say So. And, it's a cool instrument. Yeah, and I played for a couple other groups. I, I remember you were one of the first person, one of the first people I ever saw play one live, and I thought it was a guitar at first. Yeah, everybody kept saying, "Oh, it's a Jaguar guitar tuned down" or something like that. No, it's a baritone bass, everybody, with a whammy bar. Bars have two big ups. This has three and a whammy bar. And you so have the, the really, bass. really quick. You have an original one, then, right? Yeah, it's a '68. So that's got to be worth around ten grand. I have no idea. I don't, it's it's, it's, it's worth it. almost as much as the old blue one. And uh, any word on the old blue one? No, uh, they settled sort of with us, and we can't talk about how much they settled for. We was a kitten, and we had to fight for it. Yeah. But I, I can't complain because the one I have now is like. Uh, Sounds great. Yeah, and it was given to me, you know. So, geez, and it looks. It's a replica. It looks kind of like the. Or it looks very much like the old one. It does. It's, it weighs it's, about five or six pounds more because it's like an eighth of an inch thicker, but it sustains better. Kind of that. And you're notorious for breaking that thing, so. I didn't break it that often. I just threw it around. It was a fender. You can do that. But didn't you break it once and have to have the whole neck replaced and everything? I broke it. I got a crack at the end of the neck one time, and there was a guy in Minnesota, I believe it was Minneapolis, that guitar repair guy, big. Beefy biker guy that he fixed made me it. watch him fix it, which is he started off with taking all the trim off the neck and all the frets and everything, and on the side and everything, and pegs and everything. Took it out, put it in a vise with the, you know, like padded vise thing, and he, then he took out this big mallet. He says, I want you to watch what I'm doing. And he just he beat says, the hell out of it. He says, huh? Do you have a girlfriend? I said, Yeah. Would you ever do this for And he takes the thing and wallops the end of the the end of the thing completely off. That is crazy. And uh, it's like a, you know, you gotta break a leg to reset it type logic or something like that. And uh, But that and was way back in the day in the 80s, right? He fixed it, he fixed it. And he just said, you train your base like that when you throw it on the ground. I don't want you to do that anymore. So I said, okay, just don't hit me. <laughs> oh, and that was an old school bass as well, Fender, right? Yeah, that was a 66 Fender jazz bass. And then, uh, yeah. It's floating around in Brazil someplace, very probably. I got a lot of friends from the Fender Custom Shop that watch, so they I love shouting out to Fender, because Fender rocks. How about a signature bass from the Fender Company? Wouldn't Come on, great? Custom oh, Shop, I know you guys watch this. Oh my God. They do, Wouldn't trust me. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Chips and all, yeah. we can scan it. I we can, know, well, we can't scan it anymore, because it's gone. <laughs> yeah. But we can get really we close. We get really close. 
But uh, yes, Fender Custom Shop, we need a base for Mr. Klaus. Now, a quick question about Mr. Boz Skaggs, who I've worked for a few times when I was working for Live Nation. Um, it's told true story that he got mad at you guys? Well, a lot of people got mad at us. Colonel Sentan and a bunch of people who were uh, the 80s bammies. It's on the Give Me Convenience thing. The one you played Pull, Pull My, My Strings. Strings. Right. And we did it at Soundcheck with uh, my, uh, my teeth. Is my smile big enough or my teeth white enough for you to make me a star? And then we changed the lyrics. That's classic. Uh, for the uh, concert. So you guys uh, did so rehearse it once before going on? We rehearsed it at Soundcheck, you know, and that afternoon. And they thought, oh, they're having fun with us. And then we, we actually did the real show. They were sitting in the front row, and we did the actual words. And they got up and stormed off. But everybody was in the audience was singing along. That was the cool thing. I mean, we didn't enhance that record. They were That's all singing along. That's comedy. I know I see people waiting for you, so we got one more question. What the hell is the song Dog Bite about? Absolutely nothing. I always wondered that. That was one of the first <laughs> no, songs I ever talking. heard. I'm not speaking. Um, underwater uh, navigation, navigation, yeah. To the underwater filling station, uh, daily to the filling station, underwater navigation. And I love that underwater, song. I mean, it speaks for itself. It's awesome. Thank you so much for your time here, and uh, thanks everybody for watching. And uh, come out to the Riverside Open Mic on Mondays, and uh, check out HeyRiverside.com. And thanks a million to you, Klaus. Don't You've been a friend. Riverside Open Mic on Mondays. I host it's that not thing. Not really that painful. If I could get you ever there, I would love it's to have you there. Kind of painful. And uh, once again, thanks a million, Klaus, for being really cool for the last 16 years. Oh yeah. All right, see you guys later. Uh, bye.